Israel-Gaza-Iran War News Live Update Biden believes Netanyahu prolongs war to stay in power. According to Iranian media, Israeli airstrikes near Aleppo, Syria, early Monday, killed an Iranian Revolutionary Guard commander serving as an advisor. Tiznin News Agency, a Revolutionary Guard source, identified the Iranian as General Saeed Abayar. Israel bombed the Iranian embassy compound in Damascus in April, killing numerous leaders and killing him. After Iran fired 300 drones and ballistic missiles toward Israel, Israel launched a missile at an Iranian military base. Since then, the two countries have avoided open confrontations and faced enormous international pressure not to start a regional conflict. Iran's internal leadership instability makes additional assaults on Israel unlikely. Iran's temporary foreign minister, Ali Bagheri Khani, met with Lebanon's foreign minister in Beirut on Monday. Credit, Hassan Amar, slash AP. Two weeks ago, a helicopter crash killed Iran's president, Ebrahim Raisi, and foreign minister, Hossein Amir Abdelayan. More than 80 candidates from various political parties have filed for presidential elections on June 28. Tiznim published a photo of General Abayar in black before a Shiite shrine. Sayyida Zainab's mausoleum in Damascus received his casket with his photo and Iranian flag. Photos on social media. See also Ukrainian military officer claims Russia is adding troops on its southern flank. The Quds Force, a division of the Revolutionary Guard that operates abroad, included General Abayar. His time in Syria began in 2012. They supported the Damascus regime in its civil war against opposition troops and IS. Syria is where the Quds force coordinates and arms the Axis of Resistance militias in Lebanon, Iraq, and the West Bank. According to Tiznim, Israel targeted various targets on the outskirts of Aleppo on Sunday night and Saturday morning, killing 17 and wounded 15. Iraqis, Syrians, and Syrian Democratic Forces fighters died, according to the British-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. Lebanon's Hezbollah the gang suspected a copper plant and weapons depot. On Monday, Iran's interim foreign minister Ali Bagheri Khani, a militia-affiliated extremist, visited Beirut. Iranian media reported that he met with key Lebanese and Hezbollah figures. Mr. Bagheri told a Beirut press conference that Israel caused regional instability and that Iran and the regional armed groups it supports are a source of stability and peace. Bagheri, who led the Iranian delegation in numerous secret talks with the U.S. and Amman about the Gaza conflict and other regional matters, claimed Tehran and Washington kept in touch following Razi's death Sun Lines named two Iranian albums among the best in May. This British journal features international musicians in traditional, popular, modern, and fusion music. Readers and critics voted The Sky is the Same Color Everywhere by Iranian Kamancha, Spike Violin, Virtuoso Kehan Kalher, and Malian Kora player Tamani Diabate as the 16th Songlines Music Awards Fusion Music winner. Luca by Mohsen Sharifian is a top 10 bagpipe album. The magazine called The Sky is the Same Color Everywhere almost an hour of spontaneous stringed magic. Kalher and Diabate have collaborated many times, but this Iran West Africa initiative was their first. The plucked Kora and bowed Kamancha, Kalher often plucks his instrument, form a growing tapestry. Kalher claimed Tamani and he were working together, unitedly, despite coming from diverse backgrounds. We live in one world. That's the message. At the Morgenland Festival in Osnabrück, Germany, which promotes new partnerships, the two musicians met in 2016. The tune developed spontaneously after a sound check and no preparation. It works well and sounds natural because both performers come from improvisation-heavy musical backgrounds. The improvisational spirit was still there in the Paris recording after a few.